Robin Lord Taylor stopped by our studios. If you don't watch the TV show Gotham, just take it from me, the guy's Hello, dead. Hello, there he wow, is. Wow, look at you. It's so weird to see you like as a normal person. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> totally. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like, wow, that's you, huh? Yeah, I know. Wow. I know. I yeah. know. I can't it's, believe that's you. It's the physical transformation is like half the character. I Do you have yeah. to cut your hair as Penguin or like you have to? Yeah. Get, yeah. It's not my hair anymore. I'm naturally blonde. Oh, no kidding. Are you? Shit, like, Are every, you kidding? Every two and a half weeks, I have to wow. do this. Wow. How'd yeah. you get that part? Did you have to audition like 20? thousand times no it was insane I, so i it was it was pilot season right and this was one of the first ones that came out and they didn't tell me what the job was so i just went in they wrote a fake scene with fake characters you're kidding and, why can't you know what the job is well because i think kind of what they wanted is that they wanted something they didn't want people to come in and do like the idea yeah, of the <laughs> yeah, yeah right exactly right. yeah they wanted their own thing yeah to happen and so i think that was a lot of it and they were somehow able to envision you as the penguin. Yeah, it's insane. Which I, is weird, because in the comic book, they'd always draw the penguin as a little fat guy. Right, right. And no one ever imagined him as a young man, really. I don't remember any of the comics, because I read every one of those comics. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, it's weird. It's and th crazy. And then they call you up, what, like a week or two later and say, hey, you're going to be the penguin in Gotham? It was, I've never had an audition that went that easily. Like, I, I went on tape, I did it once. I Do you remember what the scene was? Yeah, it was, it was like some character, I think his name was Paul. Were you something. even a, vil a villain in the, in the scene? In the scene, yeah. Oh, you I, well, were. Well, yeah, it was kind of like he uh, he was like shaking down some like mafioso guy uh -huh. and, and trying to get the, the mafia guy to do him a solid. <laughs> and the mafia guy's like, you know, piss off, who are you? Right. And then he's like, oh, by the way, I have your daughter uh, tied up in the back or something like that. Isn't it amazing like, they can do like one read through? And know you're the guy. It's, yeah. I mean, I think you're really fucking awesome Thanks. in this thing. Man, because, like, you know, because you didn't play it like, you didn't go over the top with it, which I think was a wise decision. If you're on a superhero show, everyone, and especially if you're playing a villain, we're all writing in the wake of Heath Ledger. I mean, like, right. what he did was just, he just broke the thing, in, the mold into a million pieces, you know, and, and that's that's what we're all just trying yeah. to when, when they told aspire you, to, you know. When right? they told you that the part you got was Gotham and you were going to be yeah. the Penguin, <laughs> do you go back and, uh, were you a comic book fan? I, I was. I mean, I, I didn't, I wasn't, like, I had a neighbor who was re very much into them, and so, you know, I would read them with him, but I wasn't as much, I was reading Mad Magazine yeah. like crazy. That, that was kind of my thing. See, I think um, that's why you're doing such a good job, that in a way you weren't a super fan, like you're just bringing an actor's point of view to this guy who's a mess and then yeah. you and you know and you have some empathy with him yeah it's kind of it's kind of cool and he's not one dimensional you kind of like him and you hate him and right. you know it's kind of it's really good well it's kind of the goal yeah. and also but i have to say though like when i got it i was like I, you know of course i grew up watching the adam west series i watched it every day after elementary school i watched right. uh, and then all of the batman movies especially batman returns i was mm -hmm. obsessed with you know this was like when it came out on cinemax and you just watched it over yeah. and over so and when over you get again. the part do you go back and watch heath ledger and all these guys do you go out and rent every superhero movie just oh yeah, to see what totally. people brought to it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, definitely. And like you know, like yeah, I just recently watched Batman Returns again, and Danny DeVito is just fantastic. He's just yeah. fabulous. How much makeup you got to do for that oh, role? Shit, it's like fifty minutes of makeup. 35, 50? 50. Yeah. Yeah, they, they glue a prosthetic on nose. the nose. Yeah, yeah. A, and it's just it's really small. It's just like yeah. a bump in the tip, and then. And then, uh, and then there's like airbrushing. Then they paint my teeth and my nails, like all kind of like like nasty, <laughs> slimy yeah, shit. Disgusting. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. And so, uh, yeah. so that's that. And then there's like 35 minutes for hair, and then another like maybe 10, 20 minutes of work. You one of those actors that like stays in character during? A... No, 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 you don't do any of that. No, no. <laughs> nothing against people. You're not doing a Daniel that. Day Lewis type. No, but also that's the thing is like I couldn't imagine like doing nine months of just being like in. You mean on set? I don't have to call you. Son of a bitch. I don't have to call you Penguin. <laughs> yeah, like, the... you imagine? <laughs> yeah. We're at the craft services yeah, table. Yeah. Right, and I'm hey, just like penguin. sitting there, like, you know, like making <laughs> shitty faces at everybody. Yeah, yeah, totally. No, no way. And that's the other thing too is like people ask me often, like, because you know I have that limp in the show, and they're yeah. like, they're like, do you ever find yourself doing the limp when you're not on set? I'm like. Are you nuts? No. Well, I heard you put like glass in your shoes. In I order put, to... Well, there was one day where I forgot the lamp, and it was a big scene with the. It's like when I first come back to Gotham City in season one, and uh, and I walk off the bus, and we're in Chinatown, and there's like extras <laughs> running around. And it's like July, it sucks, and I walk off, and I like, I'm like, oh, I'm home, and then I walk away, and then I get back onto the bus, or I get back to my chair or whatever, and I'm like, 
I forgot. I forgot to limp. I yeah. forgot the limp completely. And and I did no one pick that up in the production? Well, you think that yeah. someone would? But Isn't no there somebody who has a job who sits there and watches for this yeah, shit like exactly. that? Exactly. <laughs> You're walking around normal. And <laughs> the funny thing is, was she came. She came up to me early that day because the previous day that I shot, yeah. or the previous episode, I had forgotten again, and I had to be reminded. She came up to me at the start of the day, and she was like, she was like, I, I've been told that sometimes you forget the limp, but I just want you to know that I'm looking out for you. <laughs> oh. yeah. And so I was no, like, oh, not. I got this. And then I forget yeah. the limp, and I'm the one who has to go back and be like, I'm the worst actor. Why are you sticking your shoe in order? To remember to so I, I had a bottle cap, like a water bottle cap, like like one of these, like you know oh, the okay. hearts, the the flat <laughs> side up. So I did that for a while, and then after you know maybe mid season, second season, I was like, yeah, this okay. I think I got this. We I, I downgraded. I'll remember the lamp. I will. I, I downgraded to uh, fifty cents, so I, I have two quarters. In my I, shoe and you now. feel that? Yeah, totally. It's it's actually really it's it's nice because it's just like it's an old acting trick, like from like Stella Adler, who was like you know you know right. she was an yeah. attitude back in the day, and like. You know, she was like teaching someone. I think it was like Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, where you know he has the broken leg or whatever. She's like, you got a broken leg, put a rock in your shoe, make it real for yourself. You know, yeah. it's, it's right. kind of nice. You know, it's like, and that's about good acting his, technique. It's about his method as I get. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah.